Okay, let's get started into this video. We have a lot to go over. Three plays I want to talk about. Updates on CrowdStrike, uh, new play on Amazon, and update on Shopify, which I have not entered in yet. So we have a lot to go over. Let's get started with the economic calendar. We have a lot going on this week. Wednesday, we have Fed Chair Powell uh, speaking. On Thursday, we have CPI, and on Friday, we have PPI. So definitely expect some volatility. And just be cautious and be aware of that. And what I like to do is I like to put, again, 10% of my account into each play. And, you know, follow your risk management strategy, but just be aware of these catalysts that are happening this week. Now, let's talk about SPY right here. The market definitely is overextended right now. The RSI is overbought right here. And the price action doesn't look too strong. So whatever happens tomorrow is really going to be the deciding factor with what happens with Powell. And then on Thursday and Friday, we have the inflation numbers right here. I am personally um, expecting just some sort of consolidation right here. I definitely think uh, we do need some form of consolidation. Because whenever we have a huge run up to the upside, we start consolidating and whatnot. So very simple. Let's get started into the plays. So I want to do a update on CrowdStrike. Today I entered in two option contracts. So two different entries. One was at the level of resistance and then another right at the level of support. Now if you go to the Discord... You know, I want to clarify a lot of things right here. This is very similar to a play on Google. So a while ago, we had a play on Google. And what happened was this is very similar to something like CrowdStrike. For Google, I entered in right at the level of resistance. But then it came all the way back down. And then I averaged down and entered in at the level of support. Now, the first contracts actually went over like minus 80%, minus 90%. I averaged down on the Google Play. And then eventually we, we got out for a very nice win. So basically the idea is that for CrowdStrike, we are sitting right at the level of support. And this is the perfect entry. And that is why I averaged down again on today. You have been following me along in the Discord. I want to go over the two contracts right over here. But first thing that I want to go over here is my plays are based off the chart and the analysis and my stop loss is based off the chart you know people were cutting their crowd strike position today for minus 40 percent or whatnot but the reason that i held an average down was because we closed right at the level of support and the play is still in now we can dump uh you know to the downside at market open so first 15 minutes is going to be very important i'll keep you guys updated in the discord but just like Google, we are still in play, but we just need to hold this level of support. This is our stop loss. Okay, this is our stop loss right here. We cannot go below 385, especially now since our stop loss is moving to the upside. We cannot go below 385. So if tomorrow we close below 385, that is going to be our stop loss especially at market open we get those massive volume pops now the interesting thing about CrowdStrike was we were up a very good amount okay at market open we were up a very good amount so we entered in right at market open i got mine right at market open and we actually had a very very nice pop to the upside we're up over two percent you know my contracts went from three hundred dollars to five hundred dollars but i dis didn't decide to sell because 400 was my price target 400 is the mental price target but taking a look at crowdstrike right here next candle is the deciding factor we can see that you know these candles are massive you know we get massive uh, movements right here and this is a solid, solid candle. You know, we're getting these massive swings right here. So definitely for tomorrow, our price target is going to be 392, 396. We need to be above. Okay, this is our second key level, $392. This resistance right here is our key, key level. We need to close above. Whenever we close above, that is when we get that massive pop to the upside. So that is a very quick update on CrowdStrike. Again, we had very, very um, you know, similar plays before with CrowdStrike. 
like Amazon, like Google, like Apple. So this was a very similar, but hope you guys understood kind of where I set my stop loss and why price action is absolutely everything. So tomorrow is going to be very, very interesting. I'll keep you guys updated on the Discord. But now I want to take a look at the contract. So these are the two contracts that I want to take a look at. This was my first position that I entered in, which is down around 40%, 50% right now, depending upon where you uh, entered. This posi uh, position was the average down position. Now, the average down is really going to save us, okay? And I want to go over here in this video. So, I'm taking a look at the average down, 1.6 um, average down around the same contracts. You know, we're talking about a 400 price target end of the week so that's going to be like a solid uh this is 1.6 that is going to be a solid 200 percent or 100 percent depending upon when we hit that level our conservative price target is 391 right at the level of resistance right around here again we really did break out today but we did not close above so we can definitely have this move again to the upside so around 396 right here uh which is going to be around a hundred percent gain if we hit that tomorrow so it's very important that you are analyzing and taking a look at the options contract now again the uh Average down is really going to save us because this was the first contract that I entered in 3.30 right here. And, you know, $400, realistically, we can probably make that by July 11th. But the probability is just a lot lower since we are at this level of support. I'm taking a look at CrowdStrike and the average moves are like 2%. You know, we're talking about like... 2% moves. So tomorrow, you know, if we get a 2% move, we're talking about a price target of around 394. So around 394, so that's going to be around like a 74% gain uh on our average down. And then for 394, we're going to be around, you know, down 20% or break even. So it's very important that you are doing the math. I'm relying on really the average down position to get us to that profit target of hopefully 100%. So let's see what happens tomorrow. I'm very excited for CrowdStrike. Let's see what happens. Just a quick update on um, that. Now, I want to talk about Amazon. I also entered in a Amazon position today. So if you go down here, I entered in just two contracts very small because I'm already averaged down on CrowdStrike, so I don't want to be having too much risk in the market. So I only got two contracts, but we're taking a look at Amazon here. It's setting up very nicely. I really love this setup going on. And 200 is also a very nice mental number for a potential breakout to the upside. So I just got two contracts, and I just want to sell. If we get a morning pub tomorrow, I just want to get out and be done with it. If we pop at market open, you know, my price target is 200 and uh, my price target. So we're talking about a 2% move around a uh, $203, $204. So let's take a look at the options contract. So that's going to be around a 65% gain at least and 130% gain, you know, sec second price target. But conservatively, I think we're talking about 66%. So hopefully just a quick green play on Amazon. We really need to hold this level. It's just going to be a quick in and out for Amazon. Next, we got Shopify. So Shopify was on our watch list last week also. Now for Shopify, I'm just waiting for a buy-in right at the level of support. So if it comes back down to the level of support, this is going to be a great, great play. We played Shopify many many times so you know we played this then we had another setup here which it broke out from we had a setup here but hopefully for shopify if we do get a red day or another red day you might need uh two more red days and then i'll buy in right at the level of support and this is going to be the next play so overall let's see what happens we got we have a lot going on especially with crowd strike it's going to be very inter interesting 
Let's see what happens tomorrow. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if you're holding uh, crowd strike or any position, especially with Paulo speaking tomorrow. And then we got inflation numbers the rest of the week. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys tomorrow at Market Open in the Discord.